Hey, Brian Haverlin here from DigitalArchTutorials.com. Uh, here's another in the line of short tutorials covering uh, filters that you should probably have. And not all filters sit inside the program. Some filters are standalone uh, programs all their own. And this one fits into the cool but really weird category. Um, this is Dynamic Auto Painter Pro, OK? Um, and it attempts to do uh, sort of uh, simulating a painting style in front of you. Um, and you can see what's kind of fun about it is it actually starts doing some painting in front of you. Uh, it's doing some filtering things right now, and now it's going to prepare. And it will start kind of painting in front of your eyes. Now what's interesting about it is you use the, mu the mouse to actually kind of assist in the process. Like if I want more detail around the nose or the mouth, I can kind of stick that in there. This is trying to do a Van Gogh style, which I don't think it is, but it, you know, there might be some interesting things that you can pull from it, uh, uh, or colors you might be able to pull from it that get interesting. You can see as I'm going along here, make it go a little faster. But you can see there definitely it gets to be some interesting things going on, and that's what you want. You want the interesting things that just <laughs> suck those bits out and put them on in an overlay or whatever you want to add a little bit more texture to your piece or what have you. Um, let's see this thing finish. It's going to do, do there. It's going to dry brush reveal. It kind of does a little mixing. And then again, it's nice because you do have some control because I can like if I want more detail around the eyes or the nose, I can start telling it where to apply it. So it's sort of AI with your assistance. You know? So there that one is done. It's kind of interesting. There's some interesting things there. Um, uh, but there's all kinds of different different things that it does. Um, so let me show you again. Let's look at the different presets. There's a, a whole bunch of presets here. You know, there's this wood etching one is kind of interesting. You can see as it's again it starts painting in front of you. And I can, as I as I stroke, I can stroke over the areas I want more detail in. And you can. The, what's great about this too is you can stop it anywhere. So if I decide this is good, I can stop it. Boom, and I'll put that image. Uh, because sometimes you know it's like anything else. It's like even though this is a, obviously a computer painting, uh, it's like any other artist, it can uh, overwork a piece. Like that's interesting right there. Boom, save that. I want a little bit more detail around this edge. I'm just stroking up and down. Again, it's sort of a weird sort of hybrid um, AI slash human interface because I can slightly direct its auto painting. You see, I can start bringing out a little bit more detail in that eye by stroking over. Just, it's kind of like paying more attention. Pay more attention to this area now. I want more detail in this area. That's kind of what's what's going on here. I'm gonna speed it up so you guys aren't waiting forever. And then it does, again, it does at this point when it does talked about this dry reveal, it does a little bit of a, a meshing between the original photograph and the work that was done, which I think in a lot of cases I would stop it before that because you really want it for the kind of textures that it's building out. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm letting it do its thing and we can take a look at it. So that's its finished version. Interesting, right? Okay, so this, this is my favorite one, though. Uh, and there's again, you can check out all these different these different guys. Um, but uh, my my favorite one is vegetables. And what this will do is it will start painting the picture with vegetables. Yes, that is bizarre, right? <laughs> So I'm going to start melding the two images. Then once it's done with this process, which I'll make go at the speed of light now, which is not really the speed of light, it's just faster. And then it starts applying more and I can like move around where I want more. More of these guys, less of these guys. 
and make a whole wonderful fruit salad portrait. Totally bizarre, absolutely weird. I'm sure you guys could figure out a use for it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, getting back to the, the point, uh, this is very much worth having. It has a lot of weird settings. Again, don't use any of this stuff out of the box. Um, you know, I would also sometimes see, see how I'm zooming in close right now. And there's this weird halftone pattern. It throws that on to a lot of things, but you can go ahead and get rid of that uh, just by getting rid of the uh, paper texture, and it will wipe it wipe it right out. Um, but yeah, this is. Dynamic Auto Painter Pro. A very weird piece of kit, but a kit that I think you probably could get some use out of. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please uh, check out our website, digitalartstutorials.com. And if you have any friends or family you think might enjoy it, please, by all means, share away. Uh, there will be a lot more of this stuff coming up. I'm dialing up to do a lot more tutorials, so subscribe and stay tuned for more.